Qiaolin Mausoleum is where Emperor Ruizong, the fifth emperor of the Tang Dynasty, was buried. Emperor Ruizong was born in 662, and his name at birth was Li Dan. After his brother, Emperor Zhongzong, was removed from his throne in 684 by his mother, Empress Wu Zetian, Li Dan became the fifth emperor of the Tang Dynasty. Emperor Ruizong held two reigns. The first was from 684 to 690. Emperor Ruizong was forced to abdicate his first reign in 690 by his mother Wu Zetian, who founded her own dynasty and became Empress Regnant of the Zhou Dynasty. Emperor Ruizong's second reign was from 710 to 712. He abdicated the throne in 712 in favor of his son. He died on July 13, 716 at the age of 55 and was buried in October the same year. These two gate towers were rebuilt recently to resemble the original towers. Here are ruins of the middle ceremonial gate towers which symbolize the entrance to the royal city of Chang'an, today's Xi'an, the Tang Dynasty Chinese capital. These two ornamental columns mark the start of Chaolin 625 meter long spirit way, following the rules set by Qianlin Mausoleum. Built under the supervision of Empress Wu Zetian, the spirit way is lined on both sides with a succession of stone statues, including a pair of ornamental columns, a pair of wind horses which were changed to unicorns, a pair of ostriches, five pairs of sandaled horses, ten pairs of stone statues of government officials. The spirit way ends at the gate of Vermilion Bird, the south gate of the inner wall of Chiaolin Mausoleum. The gate of Vermilion Bird represents the gate of heavenly succession. The south gate of the palace city of Chang'an, where Tang Dynasty Empress lived with his family. This gate was connected with the inner wall of the tomb. The perimeter of the tomb's inner wall is 13.5 kilometers, a little bit shorter than Xi'an city wall, which is 13.9 kilometers. The tomb chamber of Emperor Ruizong is located deep within this 751 meter elevated Phoenix Mountain. Based on excavations by archaeologists in 1963, the builders of the tomb during the Tang Dynasty dug a 70 meter long, 3.78 meter wide tunnel into the rock of the mountain that leads to the inner tomb chambers located deep within the mountain. The four gates of the inner wall of Tang Dynasty imperial tombs are named after the four mythological creatures which are viewed as the guardians of the four cardinal directions. These two minuscule mounds are the ruins of the Azure Dragon Gate of Chaolin Mausoleum. The two stone lines looking at each other have been guarding this gate since 716. The Azure Dragon represents the east. Therefore, the East Gate of Tang Dynasty Imperial Tombs is called Azure Dragon Gate. These two small mounds are the ruins of the White Tiger Gate of Chao Lin Mausoleum. Like the East Azure Dragon Gate, two lines are arranged inside the gate tower to guard the gate. The White Tiger represents the West. The West Gate of Tang Dynasty Imperial Tombs is called White Tiger Gate. Black Tortoise represents the North. The North Gate of Tang Dynasty Imperial Tombs is called Black Tortoise Gate. There is a miniature spirit way outside the Black Tortoise Gate based on the tradition of Tang Dynasty Imperial Tombs. The miniature spirit way is always lined on both sides with three pairs of sandaled horses. These two mounds are the ruins of Black Tortoise Gate Tower. Two huge stone lines arranged inside the gate tower are still guarding the Black Tortoise Gate of Chaolin Mausoleum.
This 8.6 meter high octagonal ornamental column is an impressive introduction to Shaolin Mausoleum. It is the tallest ornamental column among all the 18 Tang Dynasty imperial tombs. Here in Shaolin, the wind horse is replaced by Xie Zhi, the Chinese unicorn. This ostrich serves as the symbol of Tang Dynasty China's power and influence over its foreign neighbors. It was foreign tribute to the Tang Dynasty imperial court from Central Asian countries. The ostrich is followed by five sandaled horses. Those sandaled horses are 1.7 to 2 meters tall and uh, the length of their body are from 2 to 2.6 meters. They are the largest sandaled horses among all the 18 Tang Dynasty imperial tombs. Sandaled horses should be followed by 10 government officials, named the Wong Zhong in Chinese. Currently, there are seven statues of generals standing on the east side of the Spirit Way. Those generals are 3.7 to 4.3 meters tall. They are the tallest stone officials among the 18 Tang Dynasty imperial tombs. Wearing Tang Dynasty army generals' headgear and heavy long robes, they are standing with sword in hands and eyes looking straight ahead. They play a major role in creating a majestic atmosphere in front of the tomb. As the symbol of imperial tombs, this ornamental column leads the stone statues on the west side of the spirit way. With deer's head, ox's body, and a horse's hooves, this wind chimes unicorn can settle disputes by ramming the party at fault. This ostrich is traveling over mountains along the Silk Road on its way from Central Asia to China. Chinese written sources claim that an ostrich was sent to Emperor Gaozong by Tukhara in 650. Tukhara has been identified as a country in today's Afghanistan. It is believed that Chaolin Mausoleum has the best stone carvings among the 18 Tang Dynasty imperial tombs. The stone columns are the tallest. The sandal horses, government officials, and the stone guarding lines are the largest in size compared to the other 17 Tang Dynasty imperial tombs. Therefore, Chaolin Mausoleum looks exceedingly grandiose and magnificent. The reason is that Chaolin Mausoleum was built in 716 during the Kai Yuan era, which is viewed as one of the golden ages of Chinese history a period of political stability, peace in society, and economic prosperity. In addition to the advances in education, literature, music, painting, sculpture, and religion. Currently, nine gigantic statues of army generals are still standing on this side of the Spirit Way. Here's the site of Foreign Ambassador's Hall. This 1.28 meter high statue was one of those foreign ambassadors who attended Emperor Rizun's funeral in 716. The imperial tombs of Tang Dynasty were protected by an inner wall with four gates. The south gate is called Gate of Vermilion Bird. Known as Zhu Que in Chinese, the vermilion bird is one of the four symbols of the Chinese constellations. It represents the direction south. It is described as a red bird that resembles a pheasant with a five-colored plumage and is perpetually covered in flames. This 2.8 meter tall muscular line is seated on its hind legs with extended forelegs and a bulging chest. The mane in tight curls bearing a ferocious expression with bare teeth and bulging eyes. It is the male guardian line. Generally speaking, when you see a Tang Dynasty stone line, if the mouth is closed and the mane is in tight curls, it is a male line. This line is carved sitting on its hind legs. With an open mouth and naturally drooping mane, it is the female guardian line of the gate of vermilion bird. 
These two minuscule mounds are the ruins of Azure Dragon Gate Towers. The Azure Dragon is one of the four symbols of Chinese constellations, representing the direction east. These two guardian lines have been looking at each other for thousands of years, and they are going to do so for another thousand years. Here is the male line whose mouth is closed, a main tight curl. This female line has got a disfigured face and a drooping mane. These two mounds are the ruins of White Tiger Gate Towers. The White Tiger is one of the four symbols of Chinese constellations representing the direction west. Two stone lines, one male and one female, are guarding this gate. When facing the lines, the male line whose mouth is closed and remains in tight curl is always on the right. And the female with the open mouth and drooping mane is always on the left. The north gate is called Black Tortoise Gate. The Black Tortoise is one of the four symbols of Chinese constellations representing the direction north. A miniature spiritway is built outside the Black Tortoise Gate in correspondence with the Grand Spiritway located outside the Vermilion Gate. This crouching line is located on the west side of the miniature spiritway. Mouth closing, main tight curl, it is the male guarding line. Here is the ruin of the West Black Tortoise Gate Tower. Outside the gate tower, there are three sandaled horses. This crouching line is located on the east side of the miniature spirit way. Mouth opening, it is a female guarding line. Here is the ruin of the East Black Tortoise Gate Tower. Three sandal horses are arranged outside the gate tower on the east side of this miniature spirit way.